All right, today we're going to check out the GE Pro Bar HD 100 indoor TV antenna. And out of the box, you're getting the antenna, a stand, and some hook and loop strips for a wall mount. The antenna itself is a rigid plastic bar that's actually fairly sturdy. It's a half an inch thick. It's 14 inches in length and is about two and three quarter inches wide. The coax cable is about six feet long and is the usual thin variety of coax cable that is found on most indoor TV antennas. To install the antenna in the stand, simply slide the coax cable through the middle hole, pull it through the bottom, and then there are two indexing pins that align the antenna so that it's centered in the stand. Just snap it into place. The antenna is reversible so that you can have the color that best matches your decor facing outward. The size of this antenna and the fact that it's made for indoor use tell me that it's most likely designed for receiving RF channels 7 through 36, which transmit on the high VHF and UHF TV bands. And that is where most broadcast signals are nowadays anyways. It's also most likely designed for use in a city reception area where the broadcast signals are either close by or fair to strong. Keep in mind that with an indoor antenna, not only are you contending with all of the outdoor obstructions, such as trees, other buildings, terrain variations, and broadcast signal strength, you also have to contend with building materials. If your house is made with aluminum siding, metal roofing, concrete block or stucco with wire mesh inside, all of those things can either block or badly degrade the broadcast signal. A few things to keep in mind when placing an indoor antenna, try to place it up as high as possible. You might have to walk around the room and try to figure out where the best signal is. Another thing to keep in mind, always make sure the antenna is pointed in the same direction as the broadcast towers and if you can, put it in or near a window. Don't make the mistake of assuming that the best place for your antenna is tucked away behind the TV where you can't see it, because that might end up being the worst place you can put the antenna. If you're not sure where the broadcast signals are in your area, and you're not sure which direction to point your antenna in, go to antennaweb.org, put in your zip code, Click the little box below that says the antenna will be mounted 30 feet above ground level. That'll give you the most comprehensive list of broadcast stations in your area. And then when you hit search, you'll get a map that shows you the location of the broadcast towers relative to your location. And that'll give you a good idea of which direction you want to point your antenna in. To install your antenna, connect the coax cable to the RF in or antenna in port on your TV or digital converter box. And then you wanna run a channel scan and see what you get. If you're getting a few channels, great. This might be a good time as well to try the antenna in a few different spots. And each time you move it, you want to run a new channel scan. And then to settle on a spot, you might want to place it where you're either getting the most number of channels or the best overall signal strength. So I've got this Pro Bar antenna on a shelf on a wall that faces the broadcast signals in my area. And this is not too bad for an indoor signal. Mid 60s up into the low 70s, that's pretty good. This is VHF channel nine. And this antenna is of a fair enough size that it can pick up a VHF station. That's not bad because at least you have some margin of error here. If the signal gets disrupted by weather or some other factor, then the signal has a bit of leeway to be degraded and still be receivable. Uh, that's a lot better than other indoor antennas I've seen. Not as good as an outdoor antenna, but still not too bad overall. All right, that's a look at the Pro Bar HD indoor TV antenna from GE. And as with all indoor TV antennas, it's very important to manage your expectations and realize that they're only for picking up strong local broadcast TV stations within a city. If you're looking to pick up low power or distant stations or you live in a rural reception area, 
There's no way around it. You're going to need a properly installed outdoor TV antenna. However, if you do live in a city or an area close by with minimal signal obstructions, and you're looking to just pick up a few local TV channels without the monthly bill, then you might want to have a closer look at this antenna.